So there's a problem with my sneaker collection. I have a fire sneaker collection, absolutely fire. I feel confident in saying that. I wouldn't wanna trade it for anyone else's. You know why? Because it's curated to me. It's all my personal picks over the years, buying things that I truly, truly like and want to wear. So the problem is wearing them. I wanna wear them, but I can't. I've been collecting for over 10 years and a majority of the pairs that I've bought over the years are a size 11 or an 11 and a half. Nowadays in 2024, I'm wearing a size 12. And the unfortunate truth is as you get older, your feet start to expand a little bit. Not with everybody, but some people it happens. And for me, the 11 and the 11 and a half are, are just too narrow or my toes are scrunched and they don't work for my feet anymore. I can't cram my toes into a size 11 anymore. So what do I do about this dilemma? And I've donated a lot of pairs. I've given some to friends and family, either for free or for the low. There's been a lot of pairs that I've moved out, but I'm still left with probably over a hundred different pairs that I like, that I really, pairs that I'm like, it's hard, it's hard. I look back and I think, why did I get these in in such a small size. I always thought that it would make my feet look goofy, like they were too big for me. I was paranoid about it. So when in doubt, I would size down and that was the wrong move. So with all these pairs that I need to get rid of, what do I do? A lot of them have value. There are some gems from over the years that I've picked up that just don't fit my feet anymore. So there's a few different consignment shops around me. There's probably a bunch around you as well. And when you go in there, it's, it's the same thing. A lot of them feel like the same place, they're just the standard hyped up shoes on the wall, that's it, no personality. The prices are super high and I don't really like stores like that because it feels like you're getting ripped off. But then I found this consignment shop called Eleven. I found them when they were doing their Saturday Steals event, which is something they do every Saturday. They sell shoes for the low at a really good price. Stuff that's been worn maybe a couple times, stuff that's DS, either way, they sell it for the low. So I went in there and I checked it out and I really liked the shop. It was different than anything else that I had experienced where people just sit behind the register on their phone and tell you the price of the shoe and a tie. No, this wasn't that. These guys were talkative, they knew sneaker culture, I liked that. They had clothing there as well, they had vintage stuff and it just it felt like a good shop. So I proposed to them the idea of helping me sell these 100 different pairs in a unique way. They were all for it and here's what we're gonna do. And by the way, this was really difficult to do. At the end of the video, you're gonna see me moving about a year ago and I'm going through all these different pairs that are size 11 and 11 and a half and I'm looking at them and I don't wanna sell them, but I have to. And I was saving them specifically for an event like we're about to do. So here's how it's gonna go down. You're gonna have access to all these different pairs in two different ways. The first is in person. 11 is located in a premium outlet center in Merrimack, New Hampshire. So a lot of you probably don't know where that is. It's in New England. It's about 45 minutes north of Boston. So if you happen to be in that area, if you're in the Boston area, or if you're anywhere in New England, and you want first dibs on this stuff, Saturday morning, September 7th, we are gonna sell all of these pairs for crazy steals. Absolutely everything that I have, I'm, I'm looking at the market price, and I want it to be well under that. But if you're not in the area, hang tight. They're, you're gonna have an opportunity. Trust me when I tell you, if you're anywhere remotely near the area, it will be worth it. I'm gonna be there drinking coffee, talking about sneakers. So if you wanna get a deal on some shoes, chop it up with me, meet in person. I know a lot of you have reached out locally and we've never had a chance to meet. This would be definitely a good time to do that and get access to some pretty cool clothing. I'm gonna bring some vintage stuff. I'm gonna bring some win items that you may not have seen yet. It's gonna be a great time. So Saturday, September 7th. Now obviously a majority of you are not in the area, but you will have access online. At probably around noon, maybe a little bit later, Eastern Standard Time, there's gonna be a website that's gonna have all of these for sale and whoever gets it first, gets it first. If you come in store and you snag a pair that way, boom. If you're online and you want the pair shipped to you, boom. Either way works and both are gonna be cheap. 
even some of the, the good pairs that have strong value well under the market price. All of these details are gonna be down in the description and in the comments. I'll, I'll pin one of the comments that says all of this for you. I'm excited to be able to chop it up with some of you and give some of you access to this collection, but I'm also bummed. I don't, I don't you think I wanna get rid of the, the white metallic fives that I've always liked. I even lace swapped them thinking that I was gonna wear them they just, they break my toes. And if you're not planning on buying anything, that's all good too. Come chop it up. Also, you're gonna wanna follow Eleven on Instagram. Their handle is right here. Good people, definitely worth following. And if you see anything on their pages that you want outside of this event, they'll hook you up, I'm sure. So let's dive into this older video I made at my previous house before I sold it, where I was picking some of these different pairs out that I was gonna sell for this event. As you guys know, and I've been pretty vocal about this, most of my size 11 and some of my 11 and a half sneakers just don't fit anymore. I'm having like a sizing crisis. I'm hyper focused on making sure all of my shoes fit me correctly. I don't want anything too snug unless it is just something I have to have. So anything size 11, gone. Anything I see in this box right here, I'm like, nope, not selling it. Keeping it forever until the wheels fall off. But they're a size 11 and they're so snug. I love these 14s. I don't wanna get rid of them. Still have a little bit of life left, but it's on to the next. If you're an 11 and a half like I am and you went with your true size, ouch. Oh, you know I'm a New Balance guy. Of course there's some good NBs in this, but size 11. There's gonna be a lot of affordable options in here. Never have I seen a boot listed as size 12 that fits like an eight and a half. Who remembers these? And these, these are awesome. I actually, I might not get rid of these. <laughs> I really like these a lot. I wanted to wear them at the beach, but they just didn't work well with my foot. 650 highs. I don't know, man. I just am not good at selling sneakers. I like to give them away. I like to trade them if I can. There is some heat in here for sure. I loved this collab, loved them. I got the 2002 R deconstruct in this same exact colorway. So I don't wear these 574s that often. Even Air Force Ones, which I am like keeping all my Air Force Ones. But if they're a size 11, they gotta go. I don't wanna get rid of these. And I know you might think, hey, that's nothing special. There's nothing super special about those. Yeah, there's not, but they're also clean as hell. Even these, man, no, no. These fit snug. I wish I went up a half a size on Jordan 2s. Somebody comment down below. Let me know if you went up a half a size on Jordan 2s because I find them to be a little bit snug. There's a lot here. Again, a Jordan box that I see and I'm like, nope, don't do it. Don't get rid of it. You've got to keep your older Jordans. Dude, these are the best. Raptor 7s? No, don't get rid of them. They're a size 11. Kind of an end of an era. A little bit. A lot has changed. So much has changed. I got married, did one of the biggest projects in my life with Nautica, bought a new house. There's a lot. I kind of feel like Will Smith at the end of Fresh Prince. So again, this event is going down September 7th. All of the details are down in the description. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and 11 on Instagram. All of those details are down below. Thank you guys for the support. I'll catch you next time. Peace.